I want to share with a few little tips that I think is awfully handy. This spatula is a nice big spatula that you use if you're grilling um, food outside. Um, but my husband got rid of the grill. He gave it away, so I don't have a grill anymore. So uh, this I have to used to take my roast beef out uh, of the, the crock pot. And it's nice and sturdy. It's not flimsy like the kitchen spatulas. So that's, that's my one, one tip. Another one you want when you're um, straining your broth from your beef roast, um, you want to make sure and have a big enough pan number one because you can have that when you start dumping it into uh, the strainer you can end up having it everywhere if you don't have a big enough uh, this is like a 10 by 15 this is what I cut the meat up in uh, I take the five pound of roast I cut it up prepare it get the fat off of it and then transfer it and then put the other one in here and it's just a handy way to contain the meat as you're working with it um, so then with this here, uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, that's just whatever, uh, off of the meat and you don't want to try to push it through. Uh, it's yuck, you know, so you want to get rid of that. So the London Brewer, it, uh, has a little bit of grease in, in it and you can take and put it in the refrigerator like with the, um, sirloin and, and get rid of any fat and then when you make your gravy you can use like real butter instead or you can use a little bit of each, either or. Okay, this is eight, uh, baking size, uh, large potatoes, uh, and they're peeled and quartered and, um, I put spring water up to the top of the potatoes and, uh, I didn't add salt to this because I may give Sparky some of this um, some of this potato water uh, so uh, I do give Sparky water that vegetables have cooked in so my husband uh, has to go get the spring water because um, we have fluoride in our water and we do not drink the fluoridated water um, and we do not give it to our turtle so, um, what I'm going to do with any leftover of this water, um, it can, you can either drink it because there's going to be nutrients in that, spring water plus the nutrients from the potatoes cooking. Um, you can put it in the refrigerator and um, then you can put it, uh, you don't want to leave it in there very long, but you can drink it later or you can uh, cook other vegetables in it. So, I uh, don't waste the spring water because my husband has to go to a lot of trouble to go get it. Okay, I have heated up uh, five tablespoons of real butter and I'm now going to add five tablespoons of r brown rice flour to it. I'm going to use the whisk. The whisk it up. Okay. Okay, I have a quart of the beef broth that I have drained and I have taken the fat off of it and I'm going to add that to my rice flour and I'm going to turn the heat up and um, bring it to a boil. Okay, I added a quart of beef broth from the London Brewer that I had uh, strained and I took the fat off the top and put it in the refrigerator, cooled it, took the fat off the top and um, added it to the five tablespoons of real butter and the five tablespoons of the brown rice flour. And I'm using a whisk. I think the whisk really works well to make great. Right. Okay, I cooked the potatoes uh, for around 25 minutes from start to finish, from the cold water until they were finished. And I put three tablespoons of butter in there, and I whipped that up. So now I'm going to add a half a cup of warm coconut milk that I heated up just for about 20 seconds in the microwave. Okay. Okay, this is the finished product. Uh, I put the beef in with the gravy to eliminate another pan. And so this is a dairy-free, uh, as, as GMO-free as we can go, uh, that we know of. And um, 
it uh, has the brown rice flour instead of white flour and so my husband I fixed him a, a smaller version of the green plate and fruits and vegetables at lunchtime so this is what's going to be for lunch